Hello class, my name is Robert Lopez and I am your instructor for this summer class in geology here at Gavilan College. And today I want to go a little bit over the syllabus and the way it's going to work out. It's a six week course, very compact, so lots of work. Here is our Canvas homepage and you'll see I'll put the this video I'm recording here in this spot here. This is for last semester. but. You'll see on the home page I have this how to request needed items for online learning. So if you need like a laptop, for example, or if you need other equipment, uh, click on this link and you'll go to Gavilan College's uh, online services and they can help you out there. For the books we'll be using in this class, we have a free open educational resource textbook here physical geology. So you can download it here. Uh, I, you can either download the PDF or the iBooks, I usually do the iBooks, I can read it on my phone or my, or my iPad or my computer here. So that's a free textbook for the lecture parts and you'll see that we'll be doing the chapter readings out of this textbook and there'll be Canvas quizzes based on those readings out of this textbook here. And then for the lab, uh, in the summer here, uh, because we're so compact, I'm, I am providing the lab sheets in Canvas. For each lab assignment, you'll see the PDF lab sheets You'll want to download those, print them, and then you can do the labs on those lab sheets. One of the problems is some students don't have a printer, right? So if you don't have a printer, then I do have a copy of the lab manual at the bookstore, at the Gavilan College bookstore. Uh, you'll have to buy it. So, But you will need to have a hard copy of the lab to write your answers on, either printing it the, uh, at home uh, from the PDF sheets that I provide or having this hard copy lab manual that you buy from the bookstore. Um, obviously, if you print them at home, you know, they're free. If you buy them at the bookstore, I think, again, it's about $20, $25. In terms of the syllabus, I have my contact information up here at the top. And if you need to do an office hour, just let me know. In fact, uh, I, I have times here, but say, hey, I want to meet at those times so I can I can uh, send you a Zoom link and we can meet during those times. Or if you can't meet during those times, Monday or Tuesday, we could set up a, a different time and I'll just uh, send you the Zoom link for that time. But just let me know uh, ahead of time. Again, uh, there's some bits here I want you to read about the catalog description. Here's a little bit more about the textbook, how about you know how you have to print the lab sheets and all that. I, I've gone over that. Uh, remember, this course is entirely online. Both the lecture and the labs will be online, and it's asynchronous, which means there's no set time to meet. You can work uh, at your own well at your own pace, but try to meet the deadlines right for each module, each chapter that we're doing. You see, there's a lecture portion, lab portion, so make sure you read through that. An important aspect of all Canvas e-learning is that if you use f a Safari, some of the pictures, especially on the exams and quizzes, won't show up. Make sure you use either uh, Chrome or F Firefox, right? Don't use Safari. I use uh, Google Chrome and it works pretty well. Again, here's some course themes, uh, some student learning outcomes, read through those. Here is a little bit about the Canvas learning system, the LMS. And so again, you'll see that the course is presented in these modules tab, and you'll see the modules tab is up in here. And each module will contain a learning guide. And the key thing about that learning guide here is that it's sort of like a list of what you need to do for that particular section's assignment. And you'll see that for this course, we're going to have a bi-weekly due dates because again, it's so compact. We're putting in 15, 16 weeks into, into six weeks, right? So we'll have due dates both on Thursday and Sunday nights. So, so bi-weekly due dates. Now, for example, the first set of assignments is due June 16th, and then uh, the second set will be due June 19th. So every Thursday and every Sunday, there'll be modules. On top of that, we also have exams. You'll see that down here I have some exam due dates, and you, you'll see that those don't fall necessarily on those Thursday, Sunday dates. But they'll, um, they're, they're kind of designed to give you a, a couple, three days after the last module is due for that exam, and then you can prepare for the exam, right? So uh, there's also exam dates that go on top of the regular due dates for, um, for each module. This is a, a pretty intense course. It's a four-unit lecture lab course, and you will need about 20 hours per week. I mean, I find that students are spending probably that much or more. The big part of it is, is I do have... 
Uh, for each module, each lecture series, I have videos of lectures that you want to take notes on because each uh, video series has study questions and I and that are based entirely on my video lectures. So when you're watching the videos, you're taking notes, just like going to class. When you go to class, you, you know, I put stuff on the on the chalkboard, you take notes. Same thing here, but in this case, you're doing it off of, off of a YouTube video. <laughs> And then uh, I have a series of study questions that go along with those video lectures. And then I use a subset of those questions and I, and I write the exam with that. And one of the things about those questions, you, you really can't Google them. You can get answers, but they're not the correct answers. So the, really the only place to get those answers are by watching my video lectures and taking notes, right? In fact, I recommend printing out the study questions and then as you're watching the video, you'll see where I start answering those questions and you can start writing the answers. Think about the exams in this, in this class here. Uh, you can use your notes, you can use whatever, right? Just, you know, we're gonna complete this course, put the time in and, um, and learn a little bit about geology here, right? So again, 20 hours per week, pretty big commitment here for the summer. And then uh, if you need some other services here, there's student support services online and then also Gavilan College Online Support Hub. And in fact, let's see if, it, if this hub works here. Yeah, so it'll take you to this, so you get uh, you know some other services that go along here, right? So you can click on those and, and get some additional help or at least see what's going on with the online learning. All right, so we talked about student expectations. We talked about the lab. So remember the lab, I talked about printing the lab sheets or if you purchase a lab manager from the bookstore, you already have the printed lab sheets. One big thing about the, this class because we're, you know, it's a, it's a transfer class. You can take it at UC, Cal State, or, or private universities like Santa Clara or Stanford. Uh, we're telling them that you've completed a lecture and lab course, which means that you have to also pass the lab, or at least 70% or better to get a C or better in the class, right? So if you have like 50% of the labs done, or 50% grade in the lab, even though you may have a higher lecture grade, you still can't get, you're going to get a D, in other words. You can't get a C or better, right? So you have to really put the time in for the labs, right? In fact, let's look a little bit. I talk about this thing called QR Reader. So for each lab, I want you to, um, so we'll look at the chapter one lab here, which we're doing minerals, right? So you'll see for each lab, I'll have a series of the, the lab sheets here, right? So in this case, I have the whole entire lab, which is like 16, 17 pages. Then I have just the, the portions where you have to answer. So I recommend printing this one out here. And then uh, once you print that out, you can write the answers on there. Then I use this QR Reader app. You can download this Reader app. And what this allows you to do, uh, there's a little PDF scanner. So, you, so off your phone, you would uh, uh, scan or take a picture of your document and it converts it into a PDF file. And you'll want to submit the labs as PDF files. So all labs must be, must be submitted as uh, PDF files, right? That's what I want. So some people, you know, use HMC files or, or, and it's hard to read those. So make them PDFs, then we're all on the same ground. And then I don't have to ask to resubmit the lab because usually I'll do that. So again, um, so each lab will have uh, either the, the entire lab, which has all the text and kind of the information for the lab. And then there's another one that yeah, I recommend you print, which are just the lab, sh the, the lab answer sheets, which are the places where you actually write the answers in and you submit those, right? And then each lab, you'll see I have these, these videos, which are demonstrations and, you, and they go along with the labs with the different activities that you'll do in the lab. You'll see that obviously you don't, you don't have a, a, the rocks or minerals at home so you'll have to see what I do with these minerals, with the different tests that I do on them. And then you write down the observations. And I, you know, listen to what I say during these video lectures. You'll be able to answer all aspects of the lab. And then the most important part here is, is the last activity, this 1.7. You see there's one, part one and part two. And this is where I introduce minerals and I do different tests on them. Hardness test, I, uh, the streak test. Uh, here's a streak test here. And then uh, you identify these minerals based on how I um, do the different tests, right? So again, uh, watch the, uh, download the lab sheets here, uh, read how the lab progresses, and then you watch these video lectures to complete the lab. You'll see that each lab will have that, right? 
Let's look at this first module for chapter one, which in, it will be the intro to geology and minerals. All assignments due June 16th, which is Thursday. And then you'll see that each module will have its, its learning guide. And in the early guide, you read chapter one, chapter two. Basically, this is your checklist of what you want to do, right? And then you'll see that, that each of these will have video lectures. Again, you'll watch these video lectures. You can see it's like me writing on the chalkboard. Take notes on this material here, and that'll, that'll prepare you for answering the study questions, which should follow next. Yeah, here are the mineral study questions. And then uh, I take these questions, or some of these, and I put them on the exam, right? So that's for uh, minerals. And then each module will have a reading quiz. So there's chapter one reading quiz, chapter two reading quiz. Again, the, these reading quizzes are based entirely on the textbook reading, the free textbook. And then there's a textbook exercise here that, you can, that I want you to do. And then each lab will have a pre-lab tutorial, uh, which you kind of read through and go through the different parts of this, right? You just kind of scroll through the next button here. And it kind of gives you another uh, way of looking at minerals. Then there's a pre-lab quiz based on this tutorial here, right? So in this one, it's worth 13 points. And then finally, uh, we have the, the, the lab that I talked about already. So that's how it's going to work here, these, um, these modules. And I have pretty much, the, at least through, through exam one, everything pretty much published. Uh, I still, you can see that if you click down here, there's, I have a bunch of stuff in here, but I, I need to kind of shorten it down a little bit for the summer so I'll publish these assignments as as a, as a summer session goes along here but certainly we're good to go through um, yeah so we have everything good to go here through chapter 5 and then exam 1 is due, due June 25th which will include basically uh, minerals igneous rocks uh, volcanoes and weathering right so uh, uh, that will be for exam 1 and I think I have the exam in there already yeah I just have to have to add the um, add the weathering to this here uh, so once I get that in there I'll publish this exam it'll be due June 25th there right so again uh, let's go back to the syllabus and uh, another thing that in fact let's look at the student view so you can sort of see yeah so here's a student view this is what you see I'm the editor so I see a bunch of other different stuff and so when you're looking through this you'll see uh, on the home page you'll see that uh, there are assignments, what's coming up here. So you saw all, this, all these assignments are coming up. You can see the different dates, uh, June 19th, uh, June 16th, June 16th, and so on, right? So that's another way you can start access, accessing the assignments. But I would prefer that you go to the modules and, see, and look at the learning guide. Also the syllabus uh, at the bottom here. So if we keep scrolling through here, uh, I have the the exam dates, I have the points breakdown for the course, uh, the Accessible Education Center, so you should click on, see they have some information about online learning there, over here for student expectations, and then tips for success, so read through this, right? And then I have the, the tentative schedule for summer 22 here, so you can see we're doing all this for the summer, again, compact, six weeks, but then there's this course summary at the bottom. You can see that for June 16th, we have these assignments too. June 19th, these assignments. June 23rd, these assignments. And you can see I have it all the way down here to through June 30th. Remember, June 25th already is exam two. I, I haven't published it yet, so it's not, it doesn't appear. But once I publish it, it'll appear down here as well. So there's another way you can start looking at what assignments are due. It's just at the bottom of the syllabus tab. You should see this here. All right, well, let's stop here for now, and I'll see you guys online. Bye.